RV world and I'm standing in front of the Transcend 30 RBS. This is a brand new 2021 and uh, as you can see she's no small unit, about a 30 foot floor plan and I'm going to take you through the whole thing. So as you may have noticed, uh, there's an alloy side construction on this thing and what's unique with grand design is you don't have the, the ripples and they need, the old units used to have the ripples because it was a very uh, thin material, thin alloy. This stuff is 0 0.030 thickness and on the front is 0 0.040. So it's very solid and very stiff and with the satin coat uh, texture that they put on it's actually quite easy to keep clean as well. Construction is at the top of the list for uh, grand design and the, the seal you see here is actually a quad seal. So they start with a mylar tape underneath two layers of PVC foam and they pressure test the unit to make sure that it's airtight before putting this uh, Proflex which is basically a silicone style. So this will stretch even if you're going down the road uh, just imagine trying to be water being a water drop that you get through there. And in the passenger storage here you'll see that there's no obstructions, no pipes or anything as well you've got a battery disconnect right here and a spray port. So that's a quick connect where your hose goes into, plugs into and you've got instant water and your main water connection comes up through here so that when you're at the campground, your water connection is sealed, it can be locked, and no one's gonna tamper with it. On the off-camp side, you'll see there's two big slides. These are both heavy-duty rack and pinion slides, so they can handle the weight, and uh, they're full walk-on slide boxes. So again, heavy-duty construction, and that creates a lot of space inside. So let's go in. What did I say about space? Now that we're inside, you can see that you've got tons of living space in here. Just as you enter through the door, got a trifold sofa right here, a large U-shaped uh, dinette, and even the cushions on your dinette are reversible. So when the kids are over, you can uh, reverse it to the easy to wipe, and when they're gone, put it back to the decorative fabric as well. Tons of counter space, lots of storage and drawers. And as you can see, the drawers are on full metal drawer slides with plywood boxes, so they're very strong and hardwood drawer fronts, solid, solid handles. In the Transcends, we now have a Roku Smart TV, so you can hook that up to Wi-Fi and watch all your favorite channels, Disney, Netflix, etc. And uh, come over here, take a look inside the storage. We Grand Design pulls these uh, a little deeper and gives you the extra shelf inside your your uh, doors here and the styles of the cabinets are actually pre-drilled and screwed so you can feel the the pocket holes and the styles are all made of uh, solid banac wood so it's a unique wood because it's 99% uh, not free and as you can see you've got lots of space for plates and everything you need to store in the kitchen the sink here is an undermount sink, so it makes cleanup easy. Just wipe things in, and uh, when the kids are getting too close to the cooking area, hey, you just a little spray right there should do the trick. So you've got a pantry here, and these are nice and deep. Take a look in there, and that's right beside your eight cubic foot fridge. So again, lots of space for the foods, cold, and the dry foods in here. And I want to take another look at the cabinet drawer here as well. When you look closely, you'll see that it's actually a raised panel, but it's reversed. So it gives you a modern look on the outside, but you're not dealing with plywood. This is a very solid cabinet door, and I wish you could feel it. Hey, this is the Nautilus shower curtain. And when I close it there, it actually has a squeegee to uh, get rid of a lot of the moisture. In here, too, we've got a one-piece surround. So you're not going to have to worry about uh, leaks getting into the walls and such. And as you can see, lots of headroom in here. So we're going from six feet up and you've got room. And in the rest of the bathroom, it's things like a portion toilet, a lot of counter space, and uh, a nice big window here that can open means you've got tons of ventilation, tons of storage space, and just a very functional bathroom. One thing that's very important is your controls, your monitors, and everything's all on one panel with Grand Design. Your slide controls, your awning, and uh, all your monitors as well. Finally in the bedroom, and having a, a large bed slide that's also deep means you've got tons of space in here. Our 30 RBS here has the king bed, and as you can see I've got tons of space. Again, you've got a dresser, lots of storage under there. 
deep storage under the bed, blankets, etc. A front closet that is to be envied. So you've got a motion sensor lighting here, shelves for the shoes, and a rod to hang plenty of clothing. And above the bed here, you've got yet more storage, reading lights, and right in the center there's USB. So you can put your devices right above here while you sleep. I know that they're staying charged and staying full. And in the bed slide, both sides have windows, so you get a lot of light, but you can also get the fresh air um, when you want to have that ventilation. And of course, we've got the dark, darkening blinds to pull things down for uh, sleeping in the nighttime. So this has been my tour of the Transcend 30 RBS, and uh, again with two deep slides and a 30-foot floor plan. This is no tiny unit, but if you've got it parked on a lot, you can uh, enjoy a lot of living space, or if maybe you've got a three-quarter ton truck that'll have an easier time towing it up and down the hills. Uh, it'll be a great floor plan for you. Come see us at Woody's RV World. Thanks for watching.